I first saw this kitchen, it was very small. I mean, we couldn't even walk in the kitchen. We couldn't walk, we couldn't well, do nothing. We used our porch as part of the washing area and the plating area. It was dated, there was some questionable colors on the wall. Things were not only piled up on top of each other, but a lot of kitchen things lived in the basement because there was just no space. The thing is, when Diana asks me, hey, you have to cook, I mean, let's put it this way. Decided I wanted to change my mind about the dish, I had to go outside. Kitchen was too small for me to change my mind. That's so. an old joke. I've known the homeowners, Chef Mark Tuit and his wife, Diana Zoric, for about 10 years. And I had the pleasure to work for them when I first moved to the city, and now they've become like family. Yeah, she was a very, very nice person. She was person. a really nice person. And, and then, then she, she spends a little bit too much time with Diana, and then she became like Diana. So we had, to, I had to deal with two Dianas. Oh, yes. I've spent many nights here being fed <laughs> by one of the best chefs in the city. I trust Rick with doing no. anything in my house. She also helped me design my living room and my kids' room, so she's great. No, she's awesome, I have to say. Having seen him work in a commercial kitchen, as well as trying to entertain in his own, I knew that it was time for him to have the kitchen he deserved. I cook every night for my family. The only time I don't cook is when people come over, because apparently he's better. <laughs> Most important was to give them a much bigger kitchen. So we took down the wall that separated the kitchen and the dining room and made one big space. I knew this was going to be a very hardworking space, so I went to Aya Kitchens. They have many cabinetry options, which allowed us to maximize the storage space. It was great that this year, House and Home had the chance to work with Aya to develop a new color, which I got to use in this kitchen. It's called Midnight Blue, and what I love about this dark blue is that it's not too purple, it's not too green, it's the perfect neutral. I think what took the most convincing was to put color on the cabinets instead of the walls. Also, the idea of no uppers on an entire wall is usually scary for people because they feel like they're losing a lot of storage space. I think on paper it looked like very little storage, but once everything came around and was installed, it was clear that there was more than enough. The drawers are very deep. We put a full-size pantry on one wall. There's a freestanding unit that acts as a china cabinet. And we even managed to put a bit of storage around the appliances on the appliance wall. So every nook and cranny was used. There was a wish list that I wanted. Yeah, me too. I wanted exactly what Bianca wanted. You know what I mean? No, no, uh, what, I, what I really wanted, I wanted a, a great induction. Obviously, if you ask a chef, you know what he wants in a kitchen, he's gonna tell you he wants great appliances. You know? We went to your line, we got the great induction top. It's a border in Charles. It's awesome. I was more into the little details in as far as storage space and a dog bin and a hidden garbage, stuff like this. Seeing as we took away the dining room when we opened up the space, we needed to give them a proper eat-in kitchen. So I chose a black table, which was nice and simple and perfect size for the space, but it's still extendable, which is good for entertaining. And to add that touch of comfort, the perfect upholstered bench, which I'm sure everyone is gonna fight over. What do I love? I love all my appliances, I love my fridge. Actually, I love my tile. That's one of my favorite things. What's great about these tiles is that the soft pattern really hides any kind of living that gets done in this house. We're talking teenagers, dogs, a lot of footprints and cooking happening, and this was a very forgiving floor. What I love the absolute most about this kitchen is the ridiculous amount of counter space. I could lie down on this. Give me a pillow. We got that great Caesar stone countertop. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is a great Easy to clean. Easy to clean? Because uh, yeah. you're cleaning yeah, When it. I say easy to clean, it's while I'm working, yeah. obviously. Uh. <laughs> Last time I walk in, everything was quiet. I said, where is B? She was, I was saying, She's sitting on the, con on the con. I said, you don't have a chair? Or I said, no, 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 I, I love my kitchen. I'm admiring my kitchen. Yeah. I love it here. I really never thought it was going to turn out this beautiful, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really happy. Do you love the kitchen? Do you love it? <laughs> I am always here, I am always eating their food, and now that the kitchen is workable, I'm getting even better food and a lot more of it. I'm happy. This paid off for me.